Hello my dear viewers, welcome to today's reading. Today's reading being, um, it is for Friday, June 14, 2024. I hope you'll enjoy it my dear viewers, I hope it helps you, takes you to the level of understanding as to where you stand, what is happening, why certain things are happening and everything you need to know. So, my dear viewers, I'd like to welcome you, each and every one of you. And, of course, don't forget about um, these messages that are here. I'll just tell you a little bit about them. They are for all of us, each and every one of us. Uh, the messages are chosen in that intention. And plus, to make them personal for those of you who wish to ask a question and nominate an answer. So, you can ask any question and nominate as many answers as you like, like two cards or one card or three cards from this, this section or this section. It's up to you. And you can get your answer if you want to know timing or details about something that you're pondering about. This is the time where you put it on pause, write down everything you want. And when I start going through them, I will let you know I'm going to start going through them so that if you're not ready, you can put me on pause. Now, my dear viewers, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you. And I'd love to take this opportunity to wish everybody a happy birthday. Those of you celebrating today, June 14, I wish you a beautiful, glorious day and a happy birthday. Trustworthy guidance. Trustworthy. I'll talk about this in a moment. And those of you celebrating any other, um, any kind of occasion, I do wish you the best of the best. My dear viewers, all of you, each and every one of you. The fact that you're here present with me, I'm very grateful and I'd like to wish you all my best wishes today and always. So um, let us begin by seeing what is this all about? Trustworthy guidance. It says you have received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. Very interesting. You have received an idea and if you haven't, you will be. You have as well. They're saying you have received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. Wow. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can trust it. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this particular idea. So it's brilliant. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Let's have a look at direct and to the point. This one doesn't need really explaining. Whatever you've been thinking about. I mean, I know I thought of one idea today and I thought, you know, if this happens, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm shocked. I hadn't thought of an idea in a long time. So sometimes things happen for a reason. I'll just put this one over here, maybe like that. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, now, two messages for the collective June 14, my dear viewers. Let us see what else they want to tell us. Right, a new passage. This came out yesterday, I think, or the day before. A new beginning that's going to bring you a lot of success. Maybe it's this idea that they're talking about, a new concept, a new idea that you're taking, a new path that you are taking. It is going to bring you great success, and you are going to be very happy. Chinese year of the cat, rabbit here. Uh, we have four, maybe four days or four weeks from now. So maybe you'll see the outcome or the beginning in four, four days or four weeks. Maybe, um, could it be, for, yeah, it is possible, now four months or 40 days, let's say. Yeah, that wouldn't be four months, I'd say up to 40 days. Okay, one more. Oh, sanctuary. Like we have been having sanctuary and... All the, from last week, I think it started last weekend, Sanctuary and Refuge together, and then Refuge came along, and today Sanctuary came along. This is all about finding harmony within your home, within your space, where you're living, where you're working. It's a place where you feel protected. Sanctuary is about elevating you to a level of feeling a certain kind of stability. Stability was another one that came, actually. I just thought about it. Um stability in your life in your home life in your business wherever you've been feeling unhappy unstable maybe fearful even there's protection for you you are going to be in grace you are going to be protected you are going to be elevated you are going to be healing um if there's a situation where to do with partnerships you're not happy or 
there could be a problem that is going to be healed. You'll be removed and put in a place where you will feel home and a lot of harmony. That's what sanctuary is all about, harmony. A place of peace, a place of love, a place of compassion and care and protected by your guiding angels. So whatever you're not feeling comfortable, know that they're bringing this on and they keep repeating it over and over. Now, my dear viewers, this is a time where... Four messages for the collective, the truth. I'll just put this here. Uh, this is the time where I go through all these messages. So if you're not ready with your question, just put it on hold, on pause, and then start writing down everything you want to know and just nominate the answer. And I've chosen mine. Okay, so here we go. Let's start. Let me put my glasses on. If you're not ready, just pause it. And then unpause it, you'll start seeing the answers. Now, this first one, it says, Pluto, the great revealer. Mm. This is about the judgment card. It shows to me that there is a new, not only a new passage, a new path, but a re reinvention of your life, a, a total awakening, a total rebirth, starting over, igniting from fresh, starting a, a new life, a new lease of life. Total transformations, fundamental changes, like this is like your foundation even changes. That's why I see sanctuary, I guess you're moving to a comfortable a place of comfort and, and peace and protection. Judgment is all about a new way of life that gives you a lot of happiness, a renewal. Surrendering to it is the only way. There is no fighting it. There is nothing that can be done when it's time for a rebirth or a restart and you are stuck in a situation where you don't want it to end, that just doesn't, you will be going through purging and healing and crying and ultimately releasing and surrendering. Because um, when judgment is in the picture, there's no way out. There's no way that, oh, if this could work, or what if we did this, and what if we did that? It's something that's totally falling apart or ending to the point where you're moving to the next level. And you'll see this within 11, 11 days perhaps, uh, from now to November, and in some cases, I, I would say um, in 20 days, you will see, because the judgment card is number 20. 20 days, you will see what I'm talking about. You'll start understanding that you have to start a clean slate. There's nothing in your hand. It's, it's, it's beyond your hand. This is something really big, and you've got to surrender to a timing. We've got 11. Chinese ear of the dog here, again, connected to the dog. We've been seeing the dog lately a lot. Uh, connected also to people who have Scorpio in them. Uh, uh, it's talking also about revelations that will make you understand. You'll you'll hear the call, the awakening call. There's going to be an awakening call to wake you up from this situation, um, and and you'll know that it's totally your life is transforming to to a level beyond your expectations. So um, I would say from now to two months again, July. Wow. No, August, perhaps. July. Wait a minute. Two weeks. Sorry, two weeks from now, July. From July to November, this process will start for the collective. Different person will go through different timing. Now we go to the second one. Hmm. Okay. We've got here, it says, our union energy needs clearing. Repeat this. 11 times with slow, deep breaths. This is about 11, 11. We've got 11 here, 11 again. For those of you who see 11, 11, it shows that you need to repeat something over and over that the union, the energy of the union needs clearing. There's a lot to be said. There's a lot that you will have a very deep conversation with someone. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Somebody is going to apologize to you. I love you. I'm grateful for you. They are in gratitude to you and they will apologize maybe for the way they treated you. Maybe they come to a realization. This is all happening from now to August, eight weeks from now, eight days from now for some, for some up to August. The process is starting now all the way. Connected to the Chinese year of the gold, connected to elevation. This conversation, this apology was long overdue. And when it comes and it's explained in a very deep, cleansing, clearing way to explain how this person felt and why they did this and why they did this, a, a pure kind of uh, purging is going on both of these cards, a lot of communications. 
and a lot of words being exchanged and explanations. This is a special message that's going to help you elevate your energy together to a higher level. This is also connected to people that have Leo in them or Virgo connected to this. Um, in this one here, I forgot to say, uh, November is also connected to Capricorn and uh, Sagittarius. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Oh, we have the Golden Clover. How amazing. It says, lucky break. Something about gambling, good fortune, good luck, uh, chance, luck coming your way big time. It can also be surprises. It can be um, a lot of abundance coming your way because of luck. Have a look at your money reading under your star sign. That might tell you exactly what's happening. Maybe the clever will come out there. Maybe money is showing that it's coming so that you'll know what to do. Everything about your money, your finance, your work career has one reading every month for every star sign. So you can use that one to understand what's going on. Have a look at the June one. There is a risky business. You've got to be careful with the golden clover. As much as there is luck, you can't risk. Uh, don't take too much risk when it comes to business. That's the only thing here, the only hitch in this uh, situation. And there is, uh, there are going to be surprises for you. A great surprise is coming. Now let's start over this one here. It says, oh, wow, we have another eight, two eights, transcending to a high level and August and Chinese year of the goat. Karmic ties. It says past lives are influencing our connection. I've lost you in other lifetimes, and that makes me afraid. I need to heal the grief to allow the love to bloom. So it looks like it's connected to this situation. How incredible. Eight. This is going to happen within within eight weeks, I would say. And eight weeks will take us to August. It doesn't have to be in August from now to eight weeks. This is about something that's gone wrong with someone that you have past life connection with. And it looks to me like this person doesn't want to lose you no matter what. And even if they've moved on with someone else, they still don't want to lose you. They want to hold on to you. They're afraid of losing you. They want to heal from the grieving of losing you, but still they want the love to transform maybe to the next level and you might become best friends or you might become family or you might become, you know. It looks to me like it's that kind of a situation. This person doesn't want to leave you, doesn't want you out of their life, no matter what has happened, even if they've moved on. Uh, there might be family, children involved, but there is transcending to the higher level. Again, eight weeks. And we've got, again, Leo or Virgo in this uh, situation. And there is past life karmic connections here, big time. Eight weeks, and we've got August. Mm. The next one here, we've got the heart. It says love, desire, joy, bliss, affection, fulfillment, kindness, and forgiveness. All these things you are going to go through in these conversations with this new communication that's taking place. Some of you are going to meet someone for the first time and start falling a certain kind of love. There's desire, there's joy, there's bliss, there's romance. And there's a lot of contentment in this new love that's coming your life. There's a lot of healing. You heal together. It's very passionate. There's a lot of passionate and there's a lot of care. So that's very important, passion and care. It looks to me like um, a lot of this might have been inspired in June. Something is getting happening in June. Jay is there also. Uh, but June, I'm not looking at J for June. But I was looking at 24, which is 6. I also look at um, Chinese ear of the rabbit, cat here, the ox, the buffalo, and the snake here. The snake more than anything else, Chinese ear of the snake, very strong. Healing due to love, healing because of love, healing uh, because of uh, compassion also, kindness and forgiveness, uh, a lot of forgiveness here. Healing and forgiveness so timing, we've got 24 days from now. We've got 24 weeks within from now to 24 weeks. Or sometime in June, this is going to be, you're going to hear about it. And then ultimately within from June all the way to about 24 weeks, it's going to be in the process of healing and finding and falling and being, you know, finally becoming contented in a situation like a relationship or you know, it looks like a relationship because this is love. This is about passions, about joy, happiness, and love. Now, it can also be about something wonderful. Like there is a lucrative idea that might bring you a new income source. It could be it could be an inspiration. It could be an idea. Look, this is where the idea is all about. Idea and inspiration that might take you to the next level. Uh, it's this idea maybe they're talking about, a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. So, 
um, what you've been praying for and wanting, this idea might come and become the cause of your dreams come true, sort of wishes come true. Because there is going to be a new income source. There is going to be inspiration. There is entrepreneurship talked about, which is owning your own business. So all these possibilities are there. And there could be a new job or a creative kind of work, something that you will do. So it looks to me like whatever is happening is going to be spectacular. It's going to take you, elevate you to high levels. I'll just bring these down a little bit. And let's have a look at the tea leaf candle. You are going to, things are going to become visible. You are going to see things very clearly. A lot of truth is going to be revealed and you will see your path clearly. The candle is also about inspiration. It says you will be shown the way. Also, for things that you're not sure about, uncertainty will diminish and disappear because you will start seeing things very clearly. It's strong empowerment and things, you know, transparency and visibility. So beautiful. That's great news. The candle is also about manifestations. Now, we've already cut these. Let's have a look what else we need to know. Wow, taking action. Very strong action. Some of you are traveling. Some of you are thinking of moving. Some of you are going to take action where they were not able to take action before. This is empowerment and this is happening very quickly. There could be somebody, a traveler coming. Uh, you might be traveling. There could be um, a situation with traveling. Okay, let's have a look at the second one. Right, the devil. The devil is about excessiveness, something that's been done too much, that needs healing. It could be um, addiction, some sort of addiction, codependency to something or someone excessive sex too much um, feeling trapped due to someone or due to something something done too much to the point of codependency or excessiveness or even control has to heal has to come to an end and it has to it's reached to a level when when the devil comes in a reading it means this is going on and it's got to stop it's got to heal and when it's time for it to heal it comes in a reading Right, there it is. It's stopping. It's ending. Something painful that was taking a lot out of you. A lot of your energy was taken. All of that, that painful chapter of your life is coming to an absolute ending. That's what the devil is. The devil is all about that. Stopping something that was just too much. Too much to handle. And hence comes the Ten of Cups. How beautiful. The Ten of Swords leaves, ends something, and then the beginning of happiness and dreams come true. This is incredible. Mm, absolutely incredible. I feel like timing is everything that brings this on. I also feel like sanctuary is the strongest one that brings this on because sanctuary, with sanctuary, you will finally reach to a level where you transcend from fear, being a victim or being unhappy or being stripped, your energy being stripped to a level of at, at most power and strength and harmony and peace and contentment and love and being protected it's just an amazing um, situation i feel like you are transcending so we keep seeing the aids transcending to a higher level ranking up in your life in your life's mission in your path and that is magnificent wow okay what you don't see coming is the sun shining in your path and bringing you radiance, healing, a lot of healing, and someone wonderful also. Someone incredible. Okay, that's that one. Let's have a look at three more messages from this deck and see what they want to add to this situation of um, today. What's igniting today? What else? The truth, the collective. And oh, we've got the moon. <laughs> How amazing. We've got the sun, and now we have the moon. And the moon is the strongest clarity and visibility, more stronger than the candle, because with the moon, you get to see even a little bit forward into the future. You get to know who you are. You get to know where you're heading. A lot of revelations, a lot of truth comes out in the open. That's what this communication is all about. Someone is going to be telling you how they feel. They're going to be um, apologizing they're going to be telling you where they've reached in their thinking, what they want out of life, what you mean to them. There's going to be a lot of revelations and a lot of um, opening up. With this opening up, with this truth that's going to come, you are going to see your path clearly. You will understand where you're heading and everything is going to become more. Um, there's going to be more clarity, a lot of light in your path. You'll know who you are, where you're heading and what you have done. 
and where where you've reached in a certain uh, situation. I see Cancer here very strong with the Moon, Cancer. Those of you who are Cancer or got Cancer within you or dealing with a Cancer or because of a Cancer. Chinese here with the dog again, three times, two dogs here. Next, let's have a look. We've got the Four of Swords. This is where you can rest, rest from a big battle. This is the big battle. This is the greatest big battle, the Ten of Swords. A big battle has been won and it's over, has come to an end, and then there is a lot of rest. Hmm. There could be a passing also here. There could be a possibility of someone passing uh, and, and resting in peace and resting due to the passing of this situation or this situation coming to an end. There uh, could be a possibility when these two cards unite. Let's see what else will come. There is um, a total peace here. You will go through peace, taking a stockpiling of everything that you went through, looking at your life, working out where you stand, where you want to do next in your life. It's like it's as though a chapter's ended and now you've got to re- Reorganize your life to see what, what happens next. What do I do now? Wow, how interesting, how intriguing. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles shows that whatever you're doing, whatever you're starting, it's going to bring you a lot of prosperity. The beginning of prosperity begins. How incredible is that? The beginning of prosperity. With the clever, with luck on your side, prosperity and the sun on this side, this is magnificent. Absolutely. Incredible. For these cards to all unite in the reading, it's just magic. A lot of luck, a lot of radiance, a lot of healing, abundance in every area of your life, dreams and wishes come true, buying your own, living in your, having your dream come true, living in your own home, living in your own business, having your business, starting something wonderful that's going to bring you prosperity. So whatever the idea was here, whatever it's beginning, it's going to be transcending to high levels of understanding, epiphanies, and a great victory with the Ace of Swords. A great victory awaits you, my dear viewers. That's incredible. A wonderful, great victory with a lot of luck, a lot of radiance, and extraordinary happiness and contentment. Mm, amazing. How many times do I say amazing? I have to get over this word. Okay, what you don't see coming, the Five of Swords. There is a, situa a situation where you are defeated. Don't think you are the cause of it. I'll just take the three also. Um, the truth, uh, the king of, yes, um, what, what's happening is this area where you feel defeated, you might be blaming yourself. You don't have to blame yourself. This is something that was destined to end. You've done everything you can. It is time for you to celebrate. And that's what the three of cups is all about. Glasses in the air and celebrating an area that was destined to end, which is the 10 of swords. Um, there was nothing you could do. So something is ending and it's not in your hands and it's not because of you. And all you have to do is accept what has happened, take um, leave of what you were doing, all your chores and your sacrifices, and you just start resting, taking care of yourself, and let the truth be known that you are not to be blamed for anything. You were defeated. You gave all that you could. Now it's time for you to rest and celebrate. That's all. Rest, to have the right to rest from a big battle, to celebrate and to enjoy celebrating with your friends, family, and really uh, having justice for you, relaxing. And a and, and new life begins with a lot of prosperity. Let's have a look at, oh, wow, Buddha. Uh, second one, okay, beautiful timing. So <laughs> that is incredible. Okay, how direct and to the point, how amazing. Buddha is all about, you know, what we're talking about, the Four of Swords. It's all about life's purpose. Um, this is more than money. This is bigger than money. This is about spiritual wealth, spiritual awakening, finally knowing where you're at, what you went through, what you have done, how much you've contributed, where you reached in your mission, where you're going next, the rewards that are coming. That's why you've got luck on your side also, because um, you are destined for something out of the ordinary, something just magnificent. Uh, it looks to me like... Um, this is surpassing money. So you'll have money and wealth without a problem, but this is like spiritual growth. You're, you're, you're realizing um, how much you've done and where you've reached and what you have conquered and what you have established. There is so much here, my dear viewers, so much depth in these three cards. And with it, that's why the Golden Clover is in your reading. That's why you are going to be given luck, healing, rest, recuperation after a grand big battle that you did win and you have your victory and the victory is there you've got your victory without a doubt 
so yes that's beautiful and spiritual wealth like we said some of you are going to be counseling those who are in need some of you might be thinking about careers in counseling and coach life coach and you know some of you need guidance wanting to know what to do next after a big battle when you go through a big battle and especially if it's ease when you come out it's like you're in limbo you think okay so i did that okay so that's over what now where do I start now? What do I do? So much time has passed in the process of a big battle. You lose you lose your identity. You lose yourself. So you have to recuperate. And that's what the Four of Swords is. You will be given. You will be given the pleasure of recuperating. My dear viewers, I have to put the heater on. I'm freezing. <laughs> um, yes. So <sighs> divine path is going to be on your side to help you recuperate, to help you heal, and so that you know what is next, what is your path. And that's what the moon is all about. The moon is here to show you also your path, where you're heading, where you're going after all this battle, how to find yourself again, what to do, how to find what you love, how to plan a new life for yourself. This is magnificent. Mm, absolutely incredible. Wow, okay. Right, so that's uh, Buddha. And then we've got um, the watch, which is divine timing. It says, seize the moment now. This is the time where you take time out. And really, you can make a big difference in your life. Whether it's going to be um, profits. There's going to be profits. If you have an idea that you're putting it, implementing it, it's going to bring you prosperity. So yes, it does say timing is now for profit. It's like... If you were waiting for something, it's over. It's reached to its end. Maybe you were overwhelmed and you were in so much pain and you couldn't wait for this to end. So it's ending now. There's no more waiting time. It's over. Uh, some of you could be considering working part-time instead of full-time. Some of you might be leaving your job or you might be, uh, you, might have been, you might be sort of sacked for some reason. Maybe they won't give you the time that you need. You need time out now, and if they won't give you the time, maybe you might lose your job, or even if you don't worry about it. Divine timing and being divinely guided with Buddha in your reading, not to mention the clava, we're talking about divine God, the universe, the heavens are going to be with you in every step of the way until you get your healing, until you get to rest, until you stockpile everything, until you plan your next life and what to do. Until everything is done and you have healed. You will heal. And you'll be given the right to heal and the time to heal. So even if you do lose a job or you're sacked or not paid for time out, it's okay. You'll be reimbursed, I promise you. The heavens will reimburse you. You'll be reimbursed and you will live a life of comfort, happiness and absolute pleasure and that's why you're celebrating that's why there's celebrations okay i'll put it this way celebrations this is the time for you to profit this is the time for you to reap for all that you have done this is the time for you to be happy this is the time to rest and really breathe out and just take care of you take care of yourself for a change you've been doing for others it seems like to me that's what it looks like to me the timing is also about, um, yes, I talked about it, it's over, done, all right, beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at two more messages and then uh, two more decks and then I'll clarify everything. The clarification will make us understand further, deeper, more details as to what's going on. Wow, look what you're being prepared for, how amazing. It says, yes, there is chemistry. There might be chemistry for some. There's a strong magnetic attraction here to someone. Uh, maybe the explanation is also, maybe the person that's explaining and saying, I'm sorry and forgive me, they might have been, they might have connected to someone on a very high level of magnetic attraction that they couldn't help, help themselves and they had to move forward with that person and they're coming to apologize that is a possibility the other possibility is this there could be a very strong chemistry happening between you and someone and then this chemistry um is saying here be keep an open mind because your soulmate isn't maybe different 
this soulmate could be different than from usual type and expectations. So maybe there won't be that much sex sensual uh, attraction, but there might be something magnetic because with a soulmate, there's always magnet. It's like somebody pulls you. Their energy is pulling you. Even though you're not interested, you want to turn your head, you don't want to, they pull you in. So keep an open mind. Your soulmate is different from your usual expectations. So that's very intriguing. Now let's have a look. The message for today, June 14. Oops. Mm. Lately, they've been giving me always two. So I might, might as well start taking two. Oh, no, they gave me three this time. It's getting worse. I see it. It says, when you pass from this world, remember, you take nothing with you but your soul and all the great memories you have cherished and, and, and gone through and shared with those that you love. So always remember to create wonderful memories despite of the circumstances. So if you were with someone, for example, that you loved and cherished for years and then ultimately you lost them, they went, they got connected to someone else, it doesn't mean you hate them and you get angry and you know what I mean? You just cherish the, me the memories that you have. And you let go of bitterness. Bitterness doesn't get anything. You know, resentment doesn't do anything. There are things that run this planet, this world, bigger than resentment, anger, and, you know, holding grudges. There's something bigger, which is called destinies. It says, if you could do anything, what would it be? Ask yourself. The answer is always within your heart. It lives within you. Not in your mind. Don't let the mind control. Always let the heart not control, but be on the same level as the mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul, and the soul knows more than the mind. It's more ancient, and it has more power of knowing. Acceptance is the key factor to inner peace. I always say the saying. No matter what happens, no matter what the situation is, no matter how much you purge and cry and seek counseling, if you don't accept why this situation took place and understand it fully and an open mind, there's no way you can have inner peace. You'll constantly be crying and, and blaming and... And, and you'll never have peace. So to have peace so that you can move on from the past and move on to the future. It says at times you must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And sometimes destinies, when they take something from you, it's because you've done your best and there's no use blaming yourself because no one can take your destiny away unless it's timing. Divine timing is everything. So when things go out of your control, you know that it's not up to you anymore you're defeated you've done everything it's total defeat when it's time for it to end it ends nothing can be done and there's no need to blame yourself or the other party there's no need to blame because when it reaches this certain uh, level of ending when everything goes out of your hand and you feel defeated there's nothing you can do you did everything that means it's destined and it's timing for it to end and the new chapter begins either for both or usually for both. So there you go. Acceptance is the only key factor to take away the pain, to replace it with um, with gratitude. The best thing is to be gratitude for the time and the memories you have shared. Always be in gratitude for what has happened, everything you've gone through. Don't look at the negative. Look at all the greatness that you had with that person or in that situation, whether it's a job or a person or whatever it may be. Now, my dear viewers, we are going to go to the next level to see what is the moon going to reveal? Could we be, could we have the right to ask what the moon is going to do for the collective? What revelations? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just revealing exactly what we just talked about. Something that's coming to an end. And even if um, we are sad about it, devastated, and not happy, dissatisfied with the outcome, pain, sadness tears but it's distant so what it's going to show us the moon the fact that the area is defeated it's not in our hands it's something that was the timing for it to come to an end i truly feel when this happens that person is destined for something else that person that's ready and they move on they leave whoever leaves uh, whether to start a new relationship a new chemistry with someone else or whether to move on or to pass pass away Whatever the reason may be, it is their timing to move on to the next level. So there is no use blaming 
and feeling guilty. Neither, neither, neither one is going to be the justification for what is destined. And t divine timing is everything. So it just explains to us that the moon is going to reveal to you a lot of truth about an ending that is imminent and destined. Nothing can change it. And that is going to be quite sad. It's going to hit the heart and it's going to be quite sad. And that's okay. Uh, like I said, everything is about healing. Ultimately, it's about an ending. And you will transcend and have great victories. But at this point in time, it is going to be painful. And that's okay. It's okay to go through pain. It's okay to go through... Um, it's okay to go through... This came out, so I'll take it. Um, it's okay to go through pain. It's okay to go through tears. It's okay to purge and let it go. Let everything go. It's all right to be in pain. Everything has its timing to process the tears and, and justify everything and then to move on to, um, to healing, the process of healing. As, you, as many of you may know, it is a lot of steps until you get to healing and acceptance. Okay. So it shows to me that you are torn between whether to go or to stay. Somebody is torn whether to go and stay. It's not an easy decision. It's a very hard decision. I can see very, very hard decision. But ultimately, it's going to be determined. And it's out of control. This is not in your hands, not in the person's hands. This is no one's hands. It's destiny controlling situations. Now, let's have a look. This action that's been taken, this action... It is connected to someone of earth energy. And it came out upside down. They're not happy. Not happy taking this action. They're not happy at all. In fact, they're devastated. That's what it looks like to me. They're devastated to take this action, to actually move. They're not happy. But they will be happy afterwards. Maybe they're, they're not aware. They don't want to leave where they're at. So even the person that's leaving isn't happy. My goodness, this is something like... Really, it's destiny because if two people are not happy, but they've got to leave each other, or um, it might be a situation where something's happening too much, but they have no choice but to leave. It just shows that it's destined. So anyway, the card did jump out. So I'm going to still take two cards for the Knight of Wands. Let's see what is this action? Is it leaving, ending, ending a proposal? Right at the end, when something is completely coming, a cycle of your life, a chapter is coming to a closure, there's going to be a proposal. And this proposal is going to be the reason why action is taken, why this person is taking action and moving, because they are being proposed to. A proposal or a proposition. They don't, they're not happy because uh, this uh, Knight of Pentacles came upside down. I turned it over. They're not happy, but they're doing it. The truth is taking them to the next level. A painful truth. Let's have a look. And again, we had Earth energy. This is affecting Earth energy big time. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be also affecting uh, those who have fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, possibly. Now, what I'm going to do, this keeps coming. So a lot of money is going to be coming in your path. Money is coming to the point where you'll be empowered to help others. That's another factor. Now, and there's that Ace of Pentacles. So a lot of prosperity is also opening up. So maybe by taking this step is going to be very profitable somehow. Let's have a look at the devil. The devil for the collective. What is this situation that has to heal? Wow, the healing is when you're grieving the loss of someone. Grieving the loss of somebody. That's what this is. But you are going to be nurtured. There is the goddess of nurturing power the goddess of all mothers like that nurturing power the the power of abundance abundance to the highest level healing one that brings you happiness and heals the hearts this is the wounded heart because of an ending grieving the loss of it maybe something is happening too much see this person again grieving though but there will be justice justice is going to prevail this could be also about libra justice is a libra card but i do feel like Something incredible is going to happen. Something magnificent. Even though you're grieving the loss of this, but you are going to be supported big time. So there's support coming your way. Healing, a new page. Celebrations. Wow, at the end, look at that. At the end, there's going to be celebrations. How important is that to know that? Ultimately, the outcome, no matter how sad it may be, 
how defeated both parties may be, but there is celebrations ultimately. Let's have a look at um, the Ten of Swords. What is this chapter that's ending? It is connected to fire energy. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. There could be someone that is um, completing a mission that they're on. Their mission is coming to an end. There's only one more challenge. Then it's going to be over. Something has to be done. Something has to be taken. Something has to be given. There's some action has to be achieved in order for this last chapter. Um, final, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> final destination. Actually, to reach to your final destination, you need just one more challenge. Once you overcome this challenge, this chapter is going to be over. There is the Eight of Wands again here, which shows it's been coming nonstop in regard to the subject. This is connected to the proposal that might come your way. There could be good news, proposal that you can't say no to. By taking this proposal and leaving, taking action could be a resolution to a problem. We had this a few days. It keeps repeating in different ways. But there's also an opportunity. And this is again connected to, and this is always coming together. Oh my God. The beginning of prosperity, abundance, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, someone very loyal, very trustworthy, very helpful. And a lot of money as a reward, a life of luxury and leisure and happiness and wealth is coming. After this ending, this is all connected to it. How incredible. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is the Magician Empowerment. I was looking at the Ace of. So I'll just bear with me, my dear viewers, because there's three cards here, four cards I've got to go through. Right? And now, so we'll do ten. First, I'll go through these three, which is uh, the celebrations. So you are going to be empowered, the Magician. Everything is going to fall into place for you. Uh, let's have a look at the celebration. What is the celebration all about? For the collective wealth dreams come true wow wealth abundance of wealth living a life of wealth and leisure a lot of wealth a lot of money a windfall something major big it's not just a gift this is big it's not a gift of money it's too much too much money too much wealth generation of wealth and then you got all your wishes and dreams coming true manifesting right before your eyes and making you go crazy incredible so that is going to be, yes, of course, worth celebrating. Celebrations, the Three of Cups. Okay, so now we understand that. Now, and this is going to happen when I said there's going to be a rebirth, a new beginning. That's when it's happening. At that time when there is a rebirth happening, there's a celebration happening. Leaving the past behind and moving forward from it. So that's that one. Okay, let's have a look at the rest. Taking time out and resting after a major big battle. The Four of Swords. This could be also taking time out and traveling. Okay, so you're resting because one of your wishes is going to be granted. So all your answers are going to be given to you when? September. Virgo. Something to do with Virgo, Earth Energy, and September. Your One of your wishes is going to be granted. That's what's going to help you rest. Finally heal and rest. September is the answer. How beautiful. I love that. September. I needed that. I needed to. Something is done too much, excessive. It's reached to a level it can't be handled anymore. It has to be healed. How amazing the answer has come. For me, it has anyhow. And for those of you who understand the depth of this reading, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's have a look at the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles for the Collective. Wow. The beginning of prosperity after a major challenge, which is uh, the Nine of Wands, the challenge we were talking about right here, somewhere here. So right after this challenge where you are going to be rewarded and happy, after this comes the greatest challenge overcome. You will heal from it. The healing process begins in July. Timing is everything. And it's connected again to Earth energy. It's all about Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Those of you who are dealing with them, those of you who have got that, you're taking a stand, putting their foot down and and fighting for what, what they believe in. But ultimately, there's a lot of happiness. And let's talk about the happiness, the Ten of Cups for the collective. Dreams come true. Let's have a look. What are these dreams in regard to? Great news, relocation, the end of battles and conflict. So it's finally leaving. Somebody is leaving, relocating. Great news is coming. The truth is helping them understand that they will relocate it's going to be great maybe it's to do with a house a new house because we're talking about the ten of cups a new property a new home a new lifestyle 
and the end of conflict. That's why they're relocating to go to a better place, to be in control of their life and their journey. That is going to be even you in control of your life and your journey. And then we've got abundance and destiny controlling, and it's a soulmate situation. How clear that is. Um, an offer they can't refuse. It gives them glory, power, control over their life. That's number one. Whether it's you or them. A lot of abundance, a lot of wealth, a lot of money coming. Money, money all over the place. Big money coming. And of course, you've got the clever to bring you all the luck, to bring you this money, make this money possible, right? To live a life of wealth and luxury. So it's showing me money is coming from different avenues, two different sources. And they're both big money. This could be inheritance, big inheritance, major. And this could be the generations of wealth, a windfall, something big like that. Living a life of luxury, not needing to work, not needing to do anything. This is really, really big. This is massive, massive money, right? That's why they said divine timing in your life now. Take, you know, to make profits and seize the moment and celebrating. But there was another thing that I was going to say. One more thing. I lost it somehow. Hmm. Empowerment. Yes, we talked about that. We talked about this. Is there anything left behind? No. Yep, I think I did. Oh, yeah, the soulmates. So it looks like it was destined. Whatever happened here, no matter how severe and how painful and how many tears and how much grieving there is to be done, it was part of destiny. Somebody is destined to be with a soulmate. That's why they're saying keep an open mind because the soulmate is coming. And the soulmate is not your usual expectations. They don't look maybe the way you... you Maybe the way you have, like, in the way you think, you know, how what you get attracted to. Maybe it won't be about attraction. Maybe it'll be chemistry. Maybe I feel like soulmate is going to be a connection beyond um, uh, anything here in this world, in this lifetime. There'll be a connection that's going to be spiritual and very deep. And and it's profound when it's when you meet your soulmate. It's just out of this world. Can't be even explained in words. It's beyond any words. So I feel like destiny is going to bring you someone uh, which you have to keep your open mind. You have to keep your mind open to it because it is your destiny. It is your soulmate. It is someone that will heal you. It is someone that is also going to be empowering you. Together you become very powerful. So all this is happening, all this that they were showing us, ultimately you will have sanctuary. Ultimately you will have peace. You will have harmony. You will have love and you'll have abundance. And I know you might think this sounds too good to be true, Yes, it does, but for many, many of us, this is going to happen, but it takes time. For some, it happened last year. For others, it might happen this year. For others, it might happen next year. For me, it's going to happen after two or three years. So, you know, I mean, we don't know when it happens, but it's happening for the collective. And we are destined for a lot of blessings. Now, let's see what the Chinese cookies want to add to this. What could they possibly add? Everything is so clear. But it's still fun to see their opinion. Sometimes they might tell us something out of nowhere. Okay. Right. Three. Major life change. Major. And that's what I've been talking about. Time is right for a major life change. As a new lifestyle, all location brings great joy and trouble-free existence. So there'll be no trouble anymore. Peace. And that's what sanctuary is all about. Peace. Challenge. Challenges. That's the challenge we're talking about. There's one more left only. So it says, take time out from problems or conflict or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. So there is a challenge. And it says a surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching for love. But the, most, the important factor here is surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. And for those who are looking for love, there is an invitation. An invitation could bring love to those who are looking for it. So that's magnificent also. Good to know. When destiny is here, everything is possible. My dear viewers, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I look forward to hearing from you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, if you're new, and if you enjoy what I'm doing. It's very supportive for me. The other form of support is watching the videos all the way to the end. That is also the greatest support. And for tips, if you'd like to tip me, all you do is click on one or two ads. And you don't have to even watch them. Just let them run through until the end. Just let them go. That is the greatest tip. And I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting me in any way. I wish you abundance of blessings. All my best wishes. Namaste.